I think it's a noble aim for the arts to be ethical. Whether we achieve it, I don't know, but it's certainly a noble aim. I would have thought that if, if the arts do have any responsibility or if I have a responsibility as an artist, I would regard a responsibility to be truthful and honest. And that's the point at which one has to raise the commercial question because I sell my paintings to live. Should I follow the market and just paint those green ones, which everybody seems to like, or not? That's, that's a type, for me, that's a type of ethical dilemma, which artists have always faced. And of course, they have to manage their livelihoods with remaining true to themselves. I think the same applies to institutions. Uh, we know the exhibitions, generally, we know the exhibitions which are very successful. And if you put on that, so I won't even mention them because you know what I'm right. talking about. If we put on that every year, we will have blockbusters. But we start to feel really miserable about that. We feel we've let people down. So we try to put together uh, a menu of exhibitions, which, of which some are difficult. And the good news is occasionally we, we put on something like that, that the public enormously appreciates. We did an exhibition of architecture called Sensing Spaces, which was an experiential exhibition where you could climb up towers and you could touch everything and every room was a different experience. And we didn't know whether anybody would come. Now, that is potentially a very expensive mistake. It's a big success, <laughs> big success. So it, it's, an, it's an odd mixture, you know, always. And sometimes I would imagine that you get people in the door with what you would call a blockbuster. But once they're in the door, then they'll take the time to wander down the hall and see something that will open their eyes to something they'd never heard of. Exactly, um. exactly.